What's up guys, my name is Tyler. Welcome to another edition of The Lawn Review. Today we have got the John Stockton or Jason Kidd of the lawn care game. The all time assist leader for your yard. Never gets the credit it deserves, but is definitely the cog that makes the wheel turn. Stick around, let's check it out. Like I said, it, this is a tool that very rarely gets the love that it deserves. Kind of like uh, always the bridesmaid, never the bride type situation. You never consider this guy as important. You can't lay down the right seed. You can't lay down the right fertilizer. You can't lay down the right pre-emergent. You can't lay down X, Y, or Z unless you have the right tool to do it. Today we've got the Scots. Turf Builder Edge Guard DLX Broadcast Spreader. And let me tell you that this is one of the most essential tools you can have in your arsenal. If you're in the lawn care game, you know Scott's. Scott's has a full arsenal of um, seed, feed, well, uh, pre-emergence, you name it. Uh, insecticides, they got it. And this, this tool makes all those tools work. Let's dive into some of the things we think are best about this product. Number one is right in the name, Edge Guard. I can't tell you how much fertilizer and seed and you name it that I've thrown into a, into a garden bed, landscaping bed, or driveway that was just wasted because I didn't have that Edge Guard uh, and I couldn't really tell exactly where I was throwing seed. So there's a little orange lever on your left hand side that you slide up into the on position. And what that does is there's a little um, like half moon shape that comes out around where the little whirly doohickey underneath the funnel and uh, housing base for all the seed and whatever you're putting in there. There's a little thing that sl slides around to the side that um, basically blocks seed from being thrown out to the right side. So you're making sure you've got a concentrated um, area of disbursement for your product. It's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to save you even more money. Number two is the rate setting. I mean, there's more options on this thing than like my iPhone has. There's 14 settings that you can control. So again, you can really dial in exactly how much you want to throw and exactly where you want to throw it. Saving you time, saving you money, but also making sure that you are not burning up your lawn by throwing too much fertilizer down or too much seed down or you name it. You can really dial in exactly how much you want to put down. Normally when you buy a product like a fertilizer or a um, seed, most of the times now it's on the back of the product. It's going to tell you exactly how much um, to put down and there's a correlating number on the back of the product to um, the little dial on the Scott's product. So you can turn it exactly how the manufacturer would recommend. And to me, that takes out so much of the guesswork. Number three is the receptacle for whatever matter you're putting down, whether it be fertilizer seed, you know, we've talked about this, but it holds enough material to cover 15,000 square feet, more than enough for 99.999% of residential application. You're not gonna have to be going back and refilling this guy over and over and over again. And last but certainly not least, number four is cost. This guy comes out at a measly $77. The amount of fertilizer and seed and time that I've spent pulling seeds out of landscaping beds that I didn't intend to throw seed into, I would gladly pay $77 annually to avoid that. In my opinion, this guy for $77 is a steal. You're gonna save that in headache and time, but also in material. You're not gonna be wasting stuff, throwing it on the sidewalk, throwing it on the street, throwing it on your driveway. It's going exactly where you want it to go saving you time and money for sure. Guys, if any of this resonated with you, if you thought, hmm, I'd like to not waste seed myself or I'd like to not waste fertilizer, we've got a link in the description below. Just head on down there. There's a direct link to Amazon or Home Depot. We've got tons of links down there. So make sure you head on down there and check it out. Again, I'm never gonna tell you to buy something I wouldn't buy myself or have bought myself. And I obviously have this 
and I obviously really, really like it. So the TLR review is a stamp of approval. Guys, if you liked what you saw today, please make sure you're liking and subscribing to our YouTube page. Again, there's a lot of really cool things we want to do on YouTube, but we are so far away in subscribers from what we need to be to be able to have that functionality within YouTube. It's crazy, but it's true. So if you don't mind clicking down below or wherever it is and subscribing, just a click of a button. Also, make sure you guys check out our Instagram right here. Uh, we've got some really funny content, some funny memes, informative content. Stay up to date on the most recent happenings of the Lawn Review. We've got some cool stuff in the works and you don't want to miss it. Make sure you're checking out our website, thelawnreview.com. That's where you're going to find the meat and potatoes to all our reviews on here. That's where you're going to find the most in-depth, detailed, honest, hopefully entertaining content. So make sure you're checking out our website, thelawnreview.com. Thanks for sticking around this long. We really enjoy posting these videos. We really enjoy making this content. It's really fun for us. Again, this is one of the things... Lawn care equipment and lawn care in general is one of, is our passion. So we really enjoy uh, getting the opportunity to do this. So until next time, keep cutting, and we'll see you on the flippity floppity.